So I wanted to tell you a little bit about how I'm trying to extend these ideas from copycat and analogy in a more realistic domain. What we're working on now is visual concepts via analogy. So here's a simple visual concept that we've all seen, the con concept of walking a dog. Okay, and we might have a sort of a paradigm for, or semantic network, or what you might call an ontology for dog walking, where you have a person holding a leash attached to a dog who's walking. Okay, but then there's some issues, like here's a lot of dogs, and here's people running, not walking. And so we might have to extend our concepts from dog to dog group, or from walking to running, allowing conceptual slippage. Here's a picture of somebody walking a very unhappy looking cat. Okay, walking an iguana with its tail taking the place of a leash. These are all sort of in the same category, general category of this dog walking concept. Okay, so here's a, a different kind of dog walking. Here's a dog that's riding a skateboard, somebody on a Segway. This is a device you can buy for $800 where you power your uh, bike with a treadmill and you also walk your dog in the treadmill. So, you know, there's all kinds of uh, dog walking. Uh, it goes on and on and on. So this really illustrates the f remarkable fluidity of human concepts that we really recognize these visual or any kind of abstract concept in a very fluid way. And, you know, we have to start thinking about how to make the how do, how do people and how could we get computers to make the right kinds of conceptual slippages? Here's a more abstract idea of dog walking. You know, we've all done with our yo-yos. Uh, here's a dog wa walking picture at different levels. And then if you go to the internet, you get even more abstract metaphors. What dog walking taught me about networking, meditate like you walk the dog, um, your lawyer on a short leash, thing you can put on top of your wedding cake, to illustrate a metaphor with marriage and so on. So the singularity has been called the appearance of smarter than human intelligence. But my version is a little different. I would call what I'm looking for is the appearance of a machine that crosses the barrier of meaning, that uses concepts as fluidly as human do, do, humans do in a broad range of domains. When will AI cross the barrier of meaning? I don't think it's going to be very soon. Marvin Minsky, pioneer of AI, said that one thing we've learned from six decades of research on AI is that easy things are hard. Easy things, that things easy for humans, like fluid concepts, are the hardest things for computers. So how will AI cross the barrier of meaning? Eventually, a key common will be via programs that make their own analogies.